No Liars in Heaven. This really happened. Our topic for today, when is it okay for Christians to lie? We've got a caller on line two. You're on the air. It's okay for Christians to lie. After all, Jesus lied to his own brothers. What? Where does it say that? It's easy. It's in John chapter 7. Check it out. Could this caller's Bible actually be calling Jesus a liar? Yep, all because of one little missing word. His Bible said, John 7, 8 to 10, You go up to the feast. I am not going up to this feast, for my time is not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. Here Jesus said, I'm not going, but he went anyway. The Bible said Jesus lied because only one tiny word is missing. That word is yet. Here's what John 7, 8 really says. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. Jesus said he wasn't yet going up to Jerusalem, but would go later. The Lord Jesus always told the truth. What a difference a word makes. There are 20 popular Bibles missing this word. What should we do? Get a different Bible, one that's not missing anything. But there's more. Publishers have been quietly removing words out of Bibles for years. Better. We don't need this. Snip, snip, snip. Hit delete. Take a look at these examples. Which Bible would you trust? Bible A. Lord, wilt that that we bid fire to come down from heaven and consume them? Jesus' answer is missing. Bible B. Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? The Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Which one is like your Bible? Check out Luke 9, verses 54 to 56 for yourself. Wait a minute. They took out Jesus' words. How could they do that? I thought all Bibles said the same thing. You're in for a shock. Do you believe in infant baptism? Of course not. You've got to believe in Christ before you can be baptized. Babies are too young to believe. Oh, yeah? And where do you find that? In Acts 8.36, the Ethiopian eunuch asked what he must do to get baptized. In verse 37 is the answer. What is it? Let's see. Uh, 36? 38? Hey, verse 37 is missing. You're not alone. It's missing in 29 popular Bibles. The real Bible says this, And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Pretty important. I'm David Daniels. I've spent nearly 30 years comparing Bible versions. You'll be dumbfounded when you see how much is being taken out of Bibles. God warns us at the beginning, middle, and end of the Bible, do not add or take away from my words. What thing soever I commandeth you, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish, take away from it. Deuteronomy 12.32 Every word of God is pure, and thou not unto his words. Add now thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words, God shall take away his part out of the book of of life. God will judge those who deliberately dishonor and ignore his warnings. They hated his words and rewrote them. How did this happen? Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13.13 13. 
This is scary stuff. Brothers and sisters, your Bible has been hijacked. God's words have been ripped out of the Bible. Help! And it's far more than the few verses you have seen here. This book, Look What's Missing, lists over 250 important Bible verses with words, phrases, even whole verses removed by man. Pastors are under great pressure to switch to every new Bible that comes down the line. Mine's better, has better scholars than yours. All I want to do is preach the Word of God. Here it is in today's language. No, it's mine. Mine's green. Liar, liar, hold hot off the press, preacher. These poor pastors are being ambushed by religious pitchmen. What? Did God really say? You'll never be sure. Just don't make waves. What's the result? I've checked eight translations, and here's what I think it means. You want me to change my life when you're not even sure? The result is doubt, not faith. Once men change God's words, they become men's words, this isn't clear. I'll make it better. Yeah, we don't need those words. All these Bibles say different things. It's in mine. But it's not in mine. Uh, it's sort of in here. What should we do? Check your Bible to be sure it's not missing anything. The hard work has already been done for you. One way is to get this book. Get a copy of Look What's Missing and see what's been removed from 40 popular Bibles. 250 verses compared, 40 popular Bibles. Is your Bible missing something? Now you can either go ahead and get this free video here or you can scan this code. This is as clear as I can get it. Or what else you can do, folks? You can just simply get a brand new King James Bible, if you can afford it, get the red letter edition. That simply means that the words of Jesus Christ are in red ink, and you'll be fine with that one. If you do not want to get the King James Version, you've got two other uh, selections. One can be the Geneva Bible, sometimes available free on Kimazon, uh, Kindle and Amazon. The third one is called the Webster Bible, kind of hard to find, but the King James version is currently the gold standard for not letting words get out of there. Take care, God bless you, and don't forget, Jesus Christ really is Lord.